Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Build La Floria episode 18. The series is getting pretty uh, long going which you know I'm really enjoying all the feedback I'm getting and I'm, I'm glad you're all enjoying it and wanting me to continue. So off camera I went ahead and built the first kind of larger home. Uh, I'm going to call these manor houses for lack of a better term. So most of these are going to end up having kind of a larger front porch, um, kind of entryways slash hallways, and then of course they're just going to have a lot of rooms to work with. And this one also has like a back backyard, and you could even have like an herb garden back here, or something. So yeah, th there's a lot of rooms. Uh, I don't want to put wooden floors everywhere because when I did that. The structural integrity was kind of affected by it because it almost wants to put the weight on the floors first rather than the stone beneath it and it can cause things to break. So I got rid of all the floors on the lower level. This is a three story home which uh, with a bunch of rooms and storage space and you know it's just a very nice eloquent home. They have wonderful views of the marketplace and uh, main town area also of the academy and of course this window here you can you can see up at the uh, castle so the third floor you know it's a little bit of a smaller third floor but I didn't want to make it a giant three-story box so I kind of layered it a little bit um, you know this would probably be like the master bedroom or something like that I really like how you can like see off in the distance, you can see the crane for the workshop. It would be pretty cool to kind of like be sitting up here, just look out and see the crane moving as if, you know, someone's working over there and uh, doing their job. It would almost look, make the city kind of come to life a little bit. So this is, you know, again, the first manor home. This is kind of the average size, I think, most of these homes are going to be. They're going to have the wooden roof for the first, second floor. The third floor, it will switch to the red tile just to bring a little bit more red into it. And pretty much everything on this upper plateau is going to have that theme. So you're going to see a lot more red as you work up into the wealthier side. Some more browns as you work into the middle. And then mostly brown as you work into the lower class. So you get this nice color shift, also building variation shift. And it, it just helps kind of push that boundary line. So one of the most requested buildings is a church or a cathedral. So we're going to start with a small church, and this will be like the, the common man's church. Um, I might make a chapel up for the, the uh, in between the fortification up there and the castle, and fit something there. That way that place looks a little bit more complete and filled out. But down here, this is like the lower middle class kind of chapel church area. Um, also laid the found work for foundation for a graveyard and gotta have kind of a fancy king statue over watching all the graves and of course you can even kind of do some mat different materials to probably mark the graves a little bit in fact I don't think that one's going to work we'll have to use a box and make it really small real quick and you can probably paint Man, the box, the box voxel is so hard to like paint for some reason. It just doesn't want to grab it. I don't know why it's like that, but I wanted to paint like r like little lines to mark each grave. But that might be something I try and work on later. That's just a minor detail. So the church is. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my hotbar. Um, it's gonna be a lot of stone work and art some arches, of course. It has a minor curved bit at the end, and yeah, it, it should be pretty fun. It's gonna be a simple little little thing initially. And we'll need probably a wooden floor as well. So we're going to go ahead and just drag the floor out, like so, and here, and 
here. Now this beginning little jut, most chapels and things will have a little entryway. And this is, goes all the way up to the bell. It's basically the bell tower. And yeah, it looks fairly nice. And I also made this kind of custom staircase a little bit more eloquent. And you would, you know, walk up here to get to the church. It is very steep. Sometimes I don't like how steep these curved stairs are. But, yeah, it's what we get. So, let's see. Since it's, uh, it's a simple church, I don't know if I want to bring up the roof just yet. I might do a second layer of mostly windows. Forget the terminology for this layer. Um, if anyone knows, just leave a comment or something. But... I mean, I, I used to know this. I did take like a medieval architecture class back in college, so it's just <laughs> something you forget, I guess, as time goes by. And we'll need some windows back here. And I don't need to go into the menu. I have a hot bar. I need to start using it a little bit. Go ahead and bring this up. To there. And I'll go ahead. You can use the comma, not the comma, the left and less than, greater than sign to kind of go through different tabs. So I'm going to do that and set up a roofing kind of spot. And the roof for this is going to be mainly wooden. I mean, it's, it's nothing special. It's, it, it won't have thatch because that would be a little silly, I think, for a church to have a thatched roof. So we'll go ahead and throw these corner pieces. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and drag it out the whole length. That way you can see the ribbing. Uh, doing things like this can make certain buildings look a little bit more grand in scale. Though, I'm getting a bit of an issue placing that spot there. We'll try and drag it out just a little bit more. I don't, I don't know what it's doing on some of these. I don't know if the plants are interfering or it's not thinking these wood supports are um, good enough to act on it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it's trying to do here. I may have to try and go straight across with almost like the wall. Have to drag that down. And these will probably be X's, I'm thinking. I really um, think the drag feature is a very nice addition to games like these, especially in creative mode. Survival mode probably won't have this feature. You're going to have to lay everything by hand, but that's what makes it, you know, just a little bit more satisfying sometimes. To build a giant structure in survival mode It's just a really rewarding kind of feeling. So, we'll need these support pillars kind of jutting out I think that needs to be on the other side or not yes that side just like that and same for the opposite side 
In fact, we'll probably need stone pillars as well here to make it look like the stone just carries across. Like so. We'll go ahead and check structural integrity. You see, th this is what I'm talking about. This wooden floor is not holding up any weight. It shouldn't be. But it's thinking it should because there's a block above it. And if I get rid of these, you can see it's okay with it now. So, this is this is why I'm, I've been kind of getting away from wood floors on the lower lower ends of the buildings. It, it's just too much of a hassle to deal with sometimes. Go ahead and just slap on part of the roof. And I'll add buttressing on the sides just a little bit. Just a uh, normal kind of straight edged things like this. If I could just drag it, that'd be great. And so this way, it looks like it, it can really hold the weight of the building. And just adds a little bit more detail. That way it's not just a solid box. So there you go. You get some nice ribbing on it. The front facade, I'll probably do... Oh, I already have this on my hotbar. Something like this to match kind of the entryway of the staircase. There we go. Drag that up. You know, details like this can, can really bring out the building. It adds additional layers of interest. It's not just a flat box anymore. I mean, it has that as a base. Yeah, I mean, these things aren't even holding up really any weight. They're just holding up themselves. But it looks like, you know, just an extra layer of detail. That would be really nice. It's a very nice open area. And then, go ahead bring these up as well. I need the normal wall here. Like so. Go back to my roofing tab. Drag out some more supports. This area is going to need something here, just so I can lay supports down. And we'll go back to the stone tab here and I think this needs to be just a little bit taller. And in fact, I don't, I don't think having those wooden supports are necessary, I guess, if this stone front is going to be taller. It's just going to have a flat top here. I'm not going to bring it to a peak because it's not really a perfect square. You know, it'll probably look a little wonky. But normally, it would probably have its own little roofing. Come on. There we go. So 
So we actually might not have to do any skips. Well, maybe when I add some details, there might have to be one. But, uh, you know, this one actually looks like it's on track to be a 20 minute video, which is good. Not looking too bad, if I say so myself. Let's see if we can't drag this out. Add the small buttressing. I did that wrong. Well, luckily these these kind of grave markers are there, so. I don't have to worry about it. The buttressing that I just added incorrectly won't interfere with anything. Just keep dragging these back and forth. Like so. So we get a nice effect, I think. And yeah, that looks good. So up here, I'm just going to give it a wooden floor. And we'll use some battlements to just kind of put some detail on the actual stonework here. So, corner piece. doesn't seem to want to work with the corner piece, which is a shame. There we go. And in fact, we'll go ahead and get rid of these, put some more windows, it almost act like a, you know, a, a real bell tower would have windows up here to allow the sound to escape. And then let's go with archways, kind of a larger detail, and finish it off with a sideways column, like that. And there we have it. That is our church. It's very open. It is structurally sound. Wish I could put the wooden floors everywhere, but it'll actually probably make it easier. And I need to roof this spot real quick. Now, I don't want to mix the colors of the roof, so basically I'm going to have to handcraft a wooden support here to make it curve around and I'll do that off camera here in a second and in fact I'll probably do that now and that way we can cut back to kind of the finished spot so I'll be right back here in a second alright and there it is this is the finished church for the middle and lower class go ahead and we'll walk inside I went ahead and added additional pillars and supports that way it actually looks like it can hold up the roof but still remain this open area. Ignore the ferns. They're just floating in the sky. Same with that tree. But yeah, um, added a little pedestal where the preacher would stand and give his service. Uh, plenty of aisles and support beams. And yeah, it's just a very nice building. And I also did a custom wooden uh, curve here for the roof that way it matches and it's nice and flush graveyard of course same same as before 
all the way around. You can kind of see the custom wood details on this. And yeah, that's the first church out of two that's going to be constructed. The other one will be constructed later on. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a different setup. It might actually have a, uh, a nave. I believe that's the correct term. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for this video. And I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one.